Hey, hey, you guys! Happy. Hi, oh, that's not funny. Never. <laughs> not once has it ever been funny. Jesus Christ. I think it's funny every time. Because you have like a nine year old. <laughs> it is 10 30. It, uh,. This nerd is laughing because he does that, every time I start the camera, he does that thing where he breaks, like the sudden break, and I have literal zero sense of humor with jokes like that. You know, like pranks, farts, booby trap type, like nine year old boy jokes. I have zero sense of humor for I don't, it. I know it's me, I know I it's me. I don't do it to make you laugh. I do <laughs> it to make to me make laugh. make him laugh. And every time I'm like, it's not funny! And then that makes him laugh even more. So he gets like a double humor out of it and then I get annoyed. Anyone, please feel free to walk me to the closest restroom and take the broomstick out of my <laughs> Feel free. So um, this vlog is actually really exciting because we're officially co-owners of a property. How do you feel? It's a pretty big deal. You're basically in a 30 year prison sentence There's with no me. There's no way out. No way out. <laughs> Locked out. Not alone. No chance of parole. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no possibility. So yeah, the notary left around 9.30. It was smooth, it was, it he went was down early. without a hitch. He was seven minutes early. That's almost rude, but because we're so type A, we were like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Cause we were ready. <laughs> we're officially property owners together. Now we, we already sold his. We're about to, well, I mean mine sold, but not, not really, not officially. not officially. But looking really good. But everything's looking great and we officially own the other property that we're gonna move into in a few weeks but we're letting them live there until they can move out but yeah it's it's a done deal like there's there's no looking back there's we're over the hump we're uh, all the scary is behind us mm -hmm. all this getting all we all we do now is wait and because parker took the day off in case anything went down today and he just needed to be available we have the rest of the day ahead of us y'all it's about to get really exciting wait for it so a, pancakes, it's priority. That is, that is step one in today. No, that's step two, because we bought a house. Yeah. We kind of bought a house two. this morning. We're, we're accomplishing things. Okay, two, we're gonna eat pancakes. Three, we're gonna go walk around Costco, because Costco, that's it, that's all I got. And we haven't been in Costco for a while, so everything's gonna be new and exciting. Everything's gonna be new for us, yeah. except COVID, still no samples, whack attack. And, the last thing that is on our to-do list for today, we're gonna go vote. Texas is allowing early voting, like super hella duty, super early voting, because they're limiting their mail-in ballot options. So the only way you can get a mail-in ballot is if you prove you're sick, or super, super old and can't get anywhere, or you're out of the country, or you're in jail. <laughs> I didn't know if you were in jail you could vote. No, I thought that vote. was the reason you couldn't vote. Is it that like if? Well, if you're a felon, you can't vote. I don't know if you're if you're in jail if you can vote or not. Like county jail. I or would something? think I would think not. If you're incarcerated. Yeah. Or what if you're innocent? I was reading the rules. <clears throat> like maybe if you're pending. Well, if you haven't case, been convicted yet. Yeah. Then why would you be in jail? Well, you could be accused of a crime and then arrested, uh, but not proven guilty yet. So you. What's the thing on the, the road? Be careful. Bond what to get it? out. So. A body. Was it a dog? It's a carpet. Oh. It's a brown Sorry, shag guys. Road carpet. False alarm. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna vote. We're gonna do early voting, and I, I kind of want to go to the fire department just because if I'm gonna wait in line anywhere, I want something to stare at, you know? No, that totally sounded wrong. No, I just mean because the truck really? and the pole, really? like it, it's like you're at a museum. Really? It totally. <laughs> Some fire departments have a fire dog. You know what? You can't even dig yourself out of that hole. Don't even try. I caught myself immediately when I said that. I it. caught myself immediately. Just own it. Why is my heated seat on? No wonder my butt is sweaty. Speaking of being Your committed. butt's sweaty because you're thinking about fire, but apparently. Yeah. You guys, all the firemen, sorry, but all the firemen around this area, like this neighborhood, they're all like my dad's age, um, a little chubby, uh, which has never been a problem, but they're small and they all have Super Mario mustaches, so it's not. So they're chubby and fuzzy. This is all the things you like. Yeah. In an animal, in an anybody. animal. You're not convincing anybody. <laughs> like Kona. Oh. Anyway, I just, we'll, we'll go to the public library, whatever. <laughs> whatever 
it takes. But we're gonna do early voting. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. I also, whoa, what's going on here? I also wanna give a special thank you to Magic Spoon because they are part, part blah, blah, blah. they are sponsoring a portion of this weekend vlog. So the boys actually come back tomorrow. So we bought a house today. The boys come back tomorrow. What do you think? You got your mask? Ready for some bacon. <sighs> I'm ready for some pancakes. What's up with the sexual lighting? It's not working. This is all I got for you guys. <laughs> Parker can put can put mine on, but his aren't cool where I, I want to put his on. I've been, I've been corrected. I stand corrected. We have driven past the poll that we want to vote at twice already, and the line's really long. We're still doing it. Just not in a very long line. <laughs> so we drive by. Watch you guys. Okay. See that? that <laughs> so we drive past we drive past it and it's long and then we just go do something else and the reason why my voice sounds like this is because I accidentally fell asleep I woke up so early today and when I woke up I told Parker I was like yeah I'm awake yeah I'm so excited we're gonna buy a house Woo! and then like when maybe eight o'clock uh -huh. like eight or eight thirty I was like I'm really tired <laughs> Not tired, like tired, like a baby. We went to eat breakfast, we went to Costco, and then, was that it? And then we went home? Uh, yeah, yeah, we did Costco. We found some treasures at Costco. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys when we get home. I'll do a little mini Costco haul. I got pajama pants, we got a jacket for Randon, this bonus baby junior, and we got gloves for Parker and hangers, hangers. for Taryn. Big uh, like velvet hangers. We got a pack of 25 for $21 on Amazon that haven't arrived yet. My blemish. Costco had a pack of 50 for $13. Sorry, Amazon. That I cannot support. So that's going back for sure. So anyway, I we got home and Parker's like, so are we just, are we just gonna, as the day over? Like, are we just lounging around? And I was like, I'm still wearing jeans, bro. Like, this is happening. When the jeans come off, that's like when the bra comes off. No one else is going to get back out. And I was like, I was trying to rally, I was trying to rally, but I got really disappointed because one, I ordered these amazing Christopher Knight cushions on Amazon. Y'all, these cushions are, although he talks smack about them, but they're like, so nice and the fill is down and it was one of those where the cushions come with the food for someone that works so dramatic traffic. so dramatic you talk so much crap about my driving and you are no much better no much better no much better no much better. like my grammar Okay, so I got these Christopher Knight pillows. They were a great deal because the inserts came with the actual pillow covers, set of two. Y'all, Amazon only sent me one. And when I opened the box, even the box was like, set of two. And I was like, hello. I thought you were gonna cry. <laughs> Didn't I look super disappointed? You you were gonna cry. I was really, really upset. And so. Today's been an emotional <laughs> roller coaster. <laughs> and so this is um, pro tip. When you have a problem with your Amazon order, it's very, easy for you to go in and fix it yourself usually but when it's one of the op when it's not one of the drop down options just google amazon chat cuz there's no direct link from the site google amazon chat click on it and if you're automatically signed into your amazon account already it'll it'll ask you if you want to start a chat with an associate you say yes 
and they, I mean, they, they have an answer for you like this. Like they connect you every time and they ask you, do you want to chat with someone or do you want us to call you? I've always done the chat and they solve my problem immediately. So anyway, that kind of ruined my mood. And then you guys, and then none of the dogs wanted to sit with me. None of them want, I know I'm sounding whiny right now, but this is, this is important. None of the dogs wanted to sit with me. The topo was like all up in his arm, like, like nested, like a, like a roosting chicken. You know, when they do this and they get their little chicken breast just sticks out. The topo was doing that with him. And then Wesley was like alone on the couch. And so I was like trying to cuddle Wesley and I just, he looks sad and he looks like he doesn't feel good. And so when I like try to approach him, like Wesley, whatever, he tried to bite me. The rejection. No, he actually tried to bite me. If I didn't do this, he would have bit me. Like, full on bit me. So, A, I'm worried because he's sick. So I'm like, okay, does he have dementia now? But Parker's like, maybe you're overreacting, which is literally always answer one. <laughs> That's always the first recourse is you're overreacting. But he's like, well, maybe, this is a turn only. Um. He's like, maybe he was like sleeping, like he was drifty and it was just a reaction. It was a personal, like maybe it wasn't personal. It was totally personal. And so I'm like, why are you trying to bite me? So I got so disappointed, I fell asleep on the couch. He tried to, he tried to bite you and then he immediately turned over on his back for you to rub his belly. <laughs> so I think he might've just been asleep, drowsy and didn't know what was going on. And you are a detective, so I mean, right? Yes, you can trust me. We just had a vent fight. It was a silent one. Like he moved the vent, then I moved it back, then he moved it, then I moved it again. <laughs> it's my vent, right? Don't you know where I want my vent pointed? I was trying to fight for control. <laughs> We're peeing on each other's tree over and over right now. <laughs> so anyway. Like all these, all these home decor purchases. I haven't approved any of these. <laughs> we got literally, you guys. 20 boxes <laughs> this morning. Stuff I had no idea was coming. <laughs> Just shows up, got pillows and shams and all kinds. Of, I was like, what is all this? <laughs> Air purifiers. Yeah, I was not. He got the first thing he said, he was like, I did not authorize all of this, was the first thing. And he was kidding. But then when the boxes kept showing up throughout the day, he's like, Can we afford Can this? Can we afford all of these things? I was like, do you not know me at all? Do you not know what kind of shopper I am? Do you know yeah, how much I know. money I spent on his birthday? Do you know how much money? He's wearing his birthday shirt right now. Ask me how much that Philson t-shirt was. This brat likes $35 t-shirts that have the material of like a Walmart shirt. They're what, $35, $40? This is nice material. I found it on clearance for 11. So, of course we can afford the purchases I make. Most of the pillows that I bought, you have to buy them all a cart. So you have to buy the covers, and then you have to buy the inserts, but then you have to buy enough pillows and I got them all during Prime deals. So usually pillows, like the one that they only sent me one of two, usually pillows are 25 to $30 if you go to like Kohl's or whatever. But when I got them on Amazon, I got two, four, six, eight, eight pillows and inserts for about $110. So you're welcome, Parker, at price. That price. But guy, you know how guys are like, we don't need 42 pillows. And I'm like, I know, we need 98. <laughs> so I woke up from my nap and Parker was in the Uber Eats app trying to get LNL Hawaiian barbecue and shout out San Diego because that's like one of my favorite foods. It's Hawaiian food. I don't know if it's authentic Hawaiian food, so I don't want to offend any of my Hawaiian friends, but it's freaking delicious. Watch well, us the equivalent of like Taco Bell, like being Mexican food. It's good. Anyway, l and Hawaiian Barbecue is delicious and it opened in uh, Dallas maybe three or four years ago. It's kind of a big deal. So Parker was trying to get it on Uber Eats and the app's like, out of delivery range. So I was like, let's go eat in the car because their dining room was closed. This, um, this chapter in the vlog is unnecessarily long. And, un well, actually, unnecessary. <laughs> because you didn't get to see any of it. You just get to hear me repeat it. But when I get home, if I'm not too tired, I'll show you all 98 pillows that I bought. I got two air purifiers. They're Bissell. It's a brand that sounds familiar to me. And when I'm buying stuff like that, like 
electronic-y type stuff, it makes me nervous to buy like an off-brand just because it, I don't, I don't know. I'm like, who do I call if something happens to it or if it gets broken? Like, how do I fix it? Well, I got two 100 square feet. Is that what I asked you? Yeah, 10 by 10. 100 square feet um, purifying capacity or whatever, quiet sleep mode from Bissell. It was cheaper if you bought a set of two than if you just got one. And when we moved to the new house, my son Mateo has really bad allergies. And I'm not talking about like normal allergies. I'm talking about the allergies where you, it's that, that person that annoys everyone. <laughs> like they're so bad, you feel bad, you feel bad, you feel bad, and then you're like, shut up! Like, like that, like they're bad. So I'm like, okay, you know, it's good. I need to invest at least in an air purifier just for his bedroom while he's sleeping because he's in there for, I don't know, like 12 hours. It came in a set of two, so then the other one I figure we'll just put wherever we put the dogs to kind of preemptively suck up the dander. <laughs> I know he's not allergic to dogs, but if you're already someone that is sensitive in that regard, like allergen sensitive, then any little dust that you remove out of the air is helpful, you know? Am I right? No? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go eat, and I'll show you guys what L&L &L barbecue is. Um, it's really good. It's heavy, but it's delicious. I hope this section of the vlog doesn't get copywritten because this music's been so loud the whole time. You guys, we have good news. The day's just looking up, you know? Like, it started off slow, we just bought a house, no big deal. And then we get to L&L &L and their dining room is officially open again. But they have these like signs, I don't know if you guys can see. So like, certain tables are blocked off, but there's an open table because nobody's here. Um, you guys want to see? Do you want to see? I heard someone talking while we were here. Someone that has lived in Hawaii. And apparently this is legit food. So, did we get the wrong ones? There we go. I think we just mixed up. No? Did, did you order this? Did you order ribs? Short ribs? Oh, yeah. That is mine. Did you just mine? Ooh. He just unveiled it for me. Oh, how it smell it? You want to smell it? Smell it, guys. Smell it. Take it in, take it in. I always get the short rib, it's my favorite, but the chicken is beyond. This is um, white rice and then macaroni salad, because apparently all you need is carbs, uh-huh. And then here, you got the barbecue combo. Mm -hmm. So short rib, steak, chicken, and that's it, right? Yep. But he gets two scoops, see? Because it's the big one. Because I'm a big boy. You big boy? Big. You gonna go in your tom-tom? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Get a steam shot, let's see. Make it steam shot. Oh. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's only one election during the apocalypse, am I right? All right, voting, the line was normal, but it was so efficient, you guys, it felt like I was in one of those like super villainous James Bond movies because they have these like magical electronic suitcases where you have to submit your ballot and it looks like this chubby, like computerized, like what's the top secret password to de detonate the bomb? You know, like what's a line that they would, the launch codes. Go through the back. Yeah, the launch codes. <laughs> Go the back way. <laughs> the president has the football. It's funny because I will use the worst description of what I'm trying to convey, and my Mexican like just comes out, and Parker's like, "Oh, I know what you're talking about." <laughs> like he's already fluent in Danny, <laughs> so he's like, "The launch codes." I'm like, "That's exactly what I meant." So it was super efficient. The line was the same length all day long, even right now when we waited, but it's 15 minutes, 20 minutes? No, it was, uh, we got there right about six o'clock, so I would say about 30 minutes. Womp womp. 
<laughs> it just felt like a second because I was with you. I was entertaining you the entire time. <laughs> there was a baby in front of us in one of those little kangaroo packs. Like, what are those baby carriers? <laughs> the mom was like, hold this, bump, hold this, hold this. Like, you would drop everything and she kept trying. I was like, aw. It was awesome. So, I encourage you guys, if you haven't voted, I don't know when this video is going to go up, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go up before the election. It's an easy process. It's not overwhelming. The ballots were so easy. I don't know. I thought it was a piece of cake. I think we have to come back, though, if we want to vote for propositions. Really? Because this was just no, for candidates. I didn't see any propositions. Yeah, this was one. just for candidates. So I think if we want to vote for props, we have to come in on November 3rd, which seems a little bit sus. Am I right? But anyway, that's it for today. So that wraps up our Friday. Like I said, earlier today, you know, no big deal. We just bought a house, whatever. Went to Costco. That was very exciting. <laughs> ate some pancakes. I should probably take this off now, huh? We ate some pancakes. I accidentally fell asleep. We gotta rush home because we have to feed the dogs. We gotta really keep Wesley in line right now, especially after being hospitalized. Got a big package full of soda pop. We got a big pack, oh yeah. So I'm trying out this product. I told you guys that before I accept a sponsorship, if it's a sponsor that I haven't tried before, I always request, look at how he's tippy tapping. Oh my gosh. That dog tippy tap walks like tippy 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 I told you guys, usually my sponsors are sponsors that I've already tried, I purchase, I support, I subscribe, and then that's how they find me and sponsor my content. But sometimes when I try something that I haven't talked about before, I request to try the product out, like to test it out in advance, and the ability to decline if I don't think it would be a good fit for us. And I've... <laughs> tell you horror stories on what I've tried for you guys. Yeah, we're gonna try a product probably tomorrow to see if it's a good fit for us. Um, I'm excited and it sounds like it has really good potential. But we're done for today. That wraps it up. We're gonna go home. I think every part of today's vlog has been just me in the car talking to you guys. Boys come back tomorrow. Parker's gonna hang out with Mateo for a little bit. I'm gonna hang out with Daniel. Parker probably will work on Sunday, maybe. Our weekend's gonna be pretty slow, but kind of exciting. All right, I need you guys to uh, chime in. Do you think I should get a haircut? Because this is out of control. Like, <laughs> the election is rigged. <laughs> it is rigged. I am campaigning. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> hey, guys. Good morning. Happy Saturday. It's almost 8 o'clock. I have to share something mildly devastating with you guys. Last night, I was so excited. I told Parker he needed to, like, figure out how he was gonna get me to watch Cashew the Frenchie on the CW, and we don't have that channel or network, and so they were gonna air my favorite little Frenchie ever on this episode of like, America's Funniest Videos. Did any of you guys grow up watching that? I did. Um, it was like America's Funniest Dogs or Pets or whatever, and so they're gonna feature him last night. We were trying to figure out how to watch it. We couldn't figure it out. But Parker saved the day because he found it this morning. He streamed it somehow on his laptop. You guys, this is where the disappointment comes in. Oh no, not from missing it last night, but from the fact that the clip was like 15 seconds. <laughs> so if you guys, I'll leave a link in the description box below so you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'll link his Instagram. It was pretty funny. I mean, his mom's telling him that he needs to get on a diet because it's kind of chunky and he's full on throwing a tantrum. It's hilarious, but it's really short. I mean, I was very excited. I thought they were maybe gonna ask the mom about him or like, has he always been sassy? I thought we were gonna get a little background, but no, it was literally like America's Funniest Videos where they just show a tiny little section and then someone makes a comment on it like about the joke or whatever. The boys are gonna be back soon. They usually get back between eight and nine, so they're they might walk through the door any second now, but because I am such a romantic and loving wife, I'm making breakfast because that's what you're supposed to do when you get married. You're supposed to cater to your man. And in order for me to make him a delicious breakfast, I'm gonna op open a box of cereal. <laughs> You know what? Listen, my house is in shambles right now, okay? I have like 42 couch cushions in my front door. The last thing I want to do is make an egg. So I feel good about feeding my family magic spoon. I've talked about it before, you guys, and I did get a few comments. You guys were like, oh man, Danny, it's kind of expensive. It's like $9 for a box of cereal. But let me put it this way. 
When you go to the store and you buy like a Snickers, a Snickers is $1, right? And you scratch your itch, you get your fix, and you're like, oh my god, the Snickers is so delicious. But what if you go down like the health food aisle and you get your favorite power bar, your favorite energy bar, your favorite protein bar? It's the same size as a Snickers, right? And it's just as good, but how much is it? So whenever you're paying for good ingredients, healthy ingredients, like healthier food, there tends to be a little bit of a hike in the price. It's definitely worth it because your body will thank you for it. But if you guys are unfamiliar, I talked about this cereal brand before and we're working together with them again. I actually am making Parker breakfast. <laughs> making burger breakfast and I'm also taking out some cereal and putting it in bags because when the boys come back and it's a day where they're gonna be home but they're not in school I kind of set little traps of snacks around the house so they're not like mom can I have a snack mom can I have a snack especially if I know I'm gonna be busy that day so I'm like oh yeah baby I left you a bag of you know chips I left you a bag of cereal I left you some strawberries in a bowl or whatever and they just go and get it themselves they're still little they can do stuff themselves but sometimes it's a lot easier to just portion stuff out for them so the last time that we spoke about magic spoon I was telling you guys that we really enjoy this cereal because the girls are big cereal eaters I'm a big cereal eater because I'm not a big breakfast eater and on those days when I'm really hungry I make sure that I eat something that's not gonna make me crash halfway through the morning because that's when I need to be the most productive while the kids are in school so if you guys are unfamiliar with Magic Spoon, they are a cereal brand that totally gives you that nostalgic vibe. For example, these, the fruity flavor tastes exactly like Fruit Loops. The only difference is that they have zero grams of sugar, they're very low in carbs, and they're insanely high in protein. So it's one of those foods that the claims are accurate, but they actually taste good. So it's not going to be something where you're like, oh, it's health food, and it actually tastes like health food. No, it's health food that actually tastes delicious. So this one tastes almost like Cocoa Puffs. This one's like Fruit Loops. This one tastes like Frosted Cheerios. I can never decide which one's my favorite because I'm like, okay, I, this one's for sure. And I try it and then I love it. And then I try this one and I love it. And I try this one and I love it. This is actually my most repurchased flavor because Parker will go through this pretty quickly. In fact, sometimes, sometimes I... Sometimes, oh, this, is a, this is a sad confession, you guys. Sometimes I get cranky wife because I'm like, oh man, I could really go for blueberry. And he looks at me like, oops. <laughs> so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some of the fruity, this is my son's favorite flavor. I'm gonna put some of the fruity in these stasher bags so they'll have a snack for later. And then I'm going to make a bowl of cereal for Parker and myself. I still haven't decided which one I wanna eat today. I think I'm gonna go for the cocoa flavor. See the flavors down here? But I do have to share something with you guys. It's mildly upsetting. Uh, everything's kind of mildly upsetting for me at this point. <laughs> when you're in the middle of moving, you're so like, your fuse is this short. I have been trying to order the cinnamon and the peanut butter flavor for weeks and it's always sold out. Not fair, Magic Spoon. They don't just have these four flavors. This is the variety pack. So like any and all my sponsorships, there's an awesome promo for you guys. There is a link in the description box below. If you guys want to get $5 off the variety pack with these four flavors, blueberry is the best one. There is a link in the description box below. I don't know how long the code's going to last. They never give me an expiration date. So definitely don't hesitate to wait on that. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to eat a giant bowl of cereal. I'm not going to feel guilty about it and then I'm gonna go check the website to see if peanut butter and cinnamon are back in stock. <laughs> it's fall. If everything doesn't have cinnamon on it, is it really fall? <laughs> Parker, which flavor do you want? <laughs> Did you hear? He's like blueberry. You guys, I bet you he's gonna walk out of the bedroom and he's gonna look all fancy, he's gonna have showered, done his hair, he's gonna look all cute, and I'm still looking like a troll in my bathrobe, as per usual. Do you guys have a spouse like that? They get all ready for themselves and then you're still looking like a... Can I help you? Do you want some magic spoon? You cannot have this. It's not for puppies. No, it's not. All right, so Parker wants this one. These little storage bags are the best because it's like having Ziplocs, but you don't throw them away. You just wash them, dry them, and then they're good to go. So we get a little snack bag for the kids. And then if they don't finish their snack, you don't feel bad about just, you know, shutting it, putting it away for later. It's airtight too, which is pretty cool. When I was asking my boys what their favorite thing about the cereal was, my oldest said that it tastes like Fruit Loops. This one, his favorite flavor. And then my youngest was like, it comes with free games. <laughs> he totally sounded like a little salesman. Let me show you guys the blueberry one. 
Parker's favorite. All right, you guys, besides the cost question, I also get asked, are you sure it tastes good? And is there any aftertaste? For me, the only difference I've noticed is that it has this texture. The cereal itself never gets mushy or soggy, but it also doesn't stay crunchy. So it has a really satisfying bite to it, which I really like. It's almost like, uh, I'm trying to, I'm horrible at describing like textures, but it has a little bit of a bite to it without being crunchy. So the first couple bites, definitely, definitely crunchy and then after a while it doesn't ever get like super mushy or spongy it just gets it has like a like a cool texture or bite to it and the other thing is it's not your typical health food that has a weird aftertaste to it it tastes exactly like the childhood cereal you grew up on that sometimes maybe you, you still indulge in this is one of those things where like post-workout snack or if you really want to create like Parker okay Parker has a sweet tooth, but he also watches his waistline. It's a big deal for him. He starts to feel, it's not its not a um, aesthetic thing. It's more of like, he just doesn't feel good if he's not at his best physical shape. And so whenever he wants to scratch that like sweet tooth itch, he'll grab a bowl of blueberry, of course, and he feels great about it. He really likes it, he enjoys it. It's one of those things where we've tried stuff before and the, the kids, the girls, Parker will tell me, that's not really my favorite. This is one of those things where it's like, we ran out of fruity again, mom, and I'm like, okay. You know what's not okay? Not having peanut butter or cinnamon. <laughs> Anyway, we are going to eat some breakfast, wait for the boys to get back, and then we're going to make tacos together. We are going to probably play with the kids for a bit. I still have more work to do, which is not fun. Don't forget, this promo code is for $5 off the variety pack. So the four flavors that I just showed you are included in the variety pack. Y'all, don't wait. I honestly wish they would tell me when this promo code expires because then I could tell you guys like, you can wait a couple weeks, I don't know. You know what I also thought is a lot of you guys are having your kids go back to school and that means that your kids are getting themselves ready for school and making their own breakfast so you can kind of start swapping out. If you've been watching the home edit, putting their cereal, cereal into different containers, y'all can just start slowly swapping out or integrating these cereals and your kids, I promise you, won't know the difference. Unless they're expecting marshmallows, then I can't help you there. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I made you breakfast. Oh, see? This is what being married's all about, fellas. <laughs> These nice home cooked meals. Yeah. You're the worst. <laughs> Good hot meal. You're terrible. Whatever. Eating all my blueberry. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Blueberry is best, ma'am. It's like a good light breakfast, you know? If you don't want something too heavy, this is the way to go. You know, it's made with love. <laughs> By my wife. Isn't he terrible? <laughs> I was like, hey, do you want a bowl of cereal for breakfast? He's like, yeah, I could go for something light. <laughs> he could have complained, like, oh, it's okay, I'll just. I'll make myself some eggs. He's like, no, that sounds great. Nice light breakfast. So anyway, where should I put you guys? Okay, so we didn't just have an earthquake. This is me setting you on top of my coffee carafe. You gotta get creative. You know, when you've been doing this for almost eight years, it's my professionalism really shines through. So this is me eating magical spoon on camera and not feeling bad about it. But I do have to make sure that I wash the bowls before the boys get back. Or they're gonna be like, Mom, are you eating our cereal again? Listen, there's no our cereal until you bought it yourself with your money, child. <laughs> okay, you guys remember I told you that I'm a super fabulous wife that does a home cooked, warm, hot meal, breakfast, whatever. Not only that, but I also actually like to dress really nice for my husband. So I mentioned to you guys yesterday that we went to Costco and for the last maybe three or four years, I miss out on the chenille pajama pants that Costco has. So every year, don't mind my mattress on the floor. Every year around fall and winter, Costco has chenille pajama bottoms and they sell out like this. Yesterday during our romantic Costco walk, because again, I'm a perfect wife, we're walking around Costco, you know, wearing our masks because of the pandemic, and I was like, Parker! He's like, oh, okay, 
what perfect wife. I'm like, these are the pajama bottoms that I told you to try and track down for me last year and the year before that. And so fully stocked on the chenille pajama bottoms. If you guys are Costco members, right now is the time to find them. They are so comfortable, they're so cute. And I know I'm just being facetious and making terrible jokes about being a great wife. They're actually really cute. And if you have a daughter, maybe like a teen daughter, a tween daughter, they're gonna love them. It's like wearing a blanket. And they have so, almost like a form-fitting shape to them, but they're stretchy and comfortable. They don't cinch. All right, you guys, ready for this performance? This is me dancing. Just pretend it's sexy. Um, these are the bottoms. Aren't they cute? So look how soft they are. It's just chenille, like it's full on chenille fabric. It's like I'm wearing a teddy bear. But then at the bottom, they have the, the tapered look like um, joggers. They have this cinch at the, at the waist and it's so pretty. It's like um, a sheer little ribbon or whatever. I was like, Parker, did they have more colors? Aren't those cute? I remember seeing like a baby blue one and a baby pink, like a pastel pink, but I don't think they had any others. I mean, they really need to get like a cheetah print, you know, like a leopard print, some, some kind of action happening, or maybe like a Christmassy pattern, because look at, isn't this super Christmassy, like just the fabric alone? You know what this reminds me of? Those fluffy socks. When you get those like $1 fluffy socks at like CVS or Walgreens, totally looks like that, but in pants version. Anyway, this is, this is the extent of my Costco haul. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, nothing? All right. What do you have to say for your fans? Nothing. Nothing? You sure? Yeah. Hmm, no pants? No. <laughs> you guys, we're going upstairs for the very last time. Just kidding, not the very last time, but this will be the last time. This is on the wall and going like this just makes it that much more ex exciting. <laughs> All right, y'all, so here's the scoop. We're moving in two weeks and I would love to be able to design the same exact background in the new studio space that I have in the house that we bought, but the wall's a little bit, it's not as, as long, so there's not enough background. It's a little bit shorter, I would say maybe by two feet. And so we're gonna try our best to do the same exact thing over there with the same paint color, but for now, we have to take it all down and I have to patch the wall and do touch-up paint. And he's gonna help me, cause he's my little Mr. Helper. He's like, mm, negatory. All right, so Parker's actually gonna help me do it. We are going to take a picture of the way it looks. Then we're gonna take down all the decor. Then we're gonna pull out the shelves. Then we're gonna take the bars out, fill the holes, and do touch-up paint. It's easy work, but it's gonna take a very long time. So we're just gonna get started right now because the tacos won't be ready for three hours. And those of you that saw the temperature of the taco meat, it should be at 350. I just put it in there early because I'm impatient. But if you wanna see the exact recipe on how to make those tacos, I promise you they're the best tacos you're ever gonna have in your life. I promise you it's the best thing my mom has ever come up with. I promise you, you will not regret it. And it's a freezer friendly meal. So if you do like two or three times the recipe, freeze it in gallon bags, microwave it to defrost it. It is such an easy recipe, you guys, and it's delicious. I don't like easy recipes that are just good enough. I like easy recipes that are freaking awesome. I don't know why I'm talking about tacos right now, probably because I'm hungry, but I'm just gonna set you guys down and Parker and I are gonna get to work. Try not to be sad while you watch us take this down because it's gonna come back just in a different area code.
you may not recognize where I'm standing. It's still the same room, in fact, except with a lot of touch of paint and a lot of putty. <laughs> I was like, how many screws did we use and wall anchors? Parker and I had this conversation where it's like, man, I hope they notice how much work we're putting into this. Like, we want to make sure we leave the house nice, you know, when we move out. This paint color, a lot of you guys have asked me about it. It's called Silver Point from Sherwin-Williams. I'm going to buy the same exact color for the new place. I really like it because it's a true gray with just a hint of blue. It's very hard to find a gray that doesn't pull blue. Almost all of them pull blue, but I like the amount of blue this one pulls. It doesn't it doesn't look baby blue. It looks like a little bit of a gray that's confused, you know? <laughs> so it's called Silver Point, but it's one of those tricky paint colors that changes a lot from the minute you apply it, if you do a second coat, and from the time it takes from wet to dry, it changes completely. You can see exactly where we touched up the paint, but I'll show you guys in a couple hours the way it looks. It completely blends in, and it gets just a little bit darker. But Parker and I are actually famished right now. I already gave the boys lunch. He and I are gonna have a little meal because the tacos aren't gonna be ready until like one o'clock. So we'll go eat, then Parker's gonna go with Mateo to do like a little cool cool dude day for just an hour or two. I'll stay back with Daniel and just hang out. I think that's it for today. I don't see us doing anything else, you know, big deal-ish. I don't, I don't think, I really think that's all, all we got going on. Like, I, we already did this. This feels like insane productivity, you know what I'm saying? But uh, these are the shelves that we pulled down. They're from Ikea, they're called lac shelves. I would 100% Never recommend these. They are dangerous. They are hard to secure on the walls. The hinges that they come with are trash. They're very cheap. So if you can afford to get supplemental hinges, like, like L brackets to go on the bottom, then they'd be perfect. But what it comes with is not safe at all whatsoever. These little shelves here are also from Ikea. But yeah, this is, this is our wonderful situation we got going on here. Got my little Got my little cinnamon rolls hanging out with me. Loyal, die hard loyalty. You guys, you need to find love, friendship, and family that has the loyalty of my little bear. Oh, this feels like never ending work, you guys. Never ending work. I'm sorry, did you think I was gonna be showered and ready to go? I'm still in my pajamas. It's almost 3.30, we're actually gonna have early dinner because everyone is starving, but I wanted to show you guys the meat probably for like the 17th time on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually portioned it out already for freezing and for what we're gonna eat right now and I usually like to do four to six pounds of chuck at a time every time it doesn't matter how many people we're gonna have over or if it's just the two of us or the four of us or the six of us I always like if I'm gonna cook it if I'm gonna peel that many onions and garlic I do at least four to six pounds of chuck. The video is already on my channel now, but this is basically what your finished product looks like. It's a lot of really soft garlic and onion that you can blend into the meat. I blended enough into it. This is a little bit extra. I did a lot because I like the flavor, but ultimately I don't need the filler. This is the shredded meat. It's basically like pot roast that you shred with two forks. This is what we're gonna reheat right now to eat, the four of us. These are two gallon size uh, freezer bags that I portioned out with about the same amount, I would say, it's about a quart of food, which is 32 ounces, about 32 ounces in this bag. And I freeze them into like a little rectangle like this, no thicker than an inch. When it's this thin, it defrosts, you can defrost and microwave at the same time. So you just put it in the microwave and it's ready to go. Just make sure you open the bag. And so we have these ready to go in the freezer. And the other benefit of freezing them into this shape is that you freeze them flat and then you can just kind of stack them in the freezer. They kind of get out of the way. You put them anywhere. It's like a little, a little file, like a little book. So we got, Parker helped me do all the toppings. He cut a lemon, some onion, and cilantro. We got the meat. I'll just kind of nuke it really quick to reheat. And then I defrosted one of my containers of beans. This is another thing that I cook in bulk. So I will make a giant pot and I'll freeze three um, pint containers in the freezer. And then when I need them, they're already ready to go. And over here is the rice that we always do, but that one's not ready yet. The recipes for the rice and the tacos are already on my channel, so I'll leave a link for them in the description box. But for now, I gotta finish cooking. I gotta finish cuddling, and uh, we're gonna enjoy our dinner. <laughs> Thank you.
looked this fabulous all day. How fabulous have you looked all day? Have you looked this fabulous all day? Let me see, where are you? How fabulous do you look today? Oh, like that fabulous? All right, so today's been kind of a lazy, relaxing day. It's been like a, a combination of like very productive, but also very, very lazy. So I'm doing stupid things like laundry, but I'm also watching an entire series of something on Netflix. It's one of those shows that the acting is so bad, but the story is so good that you're just, you have to sacrifice yourself to finish it. That's my, the current state of my life. The only thing that we have left to do today is eat dinner, which we're waiting for um, favored delivery. We're getting Greek. And then I have to give three haircuts. Rather two, I'm gonna make Parker give Mateo's haircut because he does a better job than I do. That's it, our, our, our Sunday's been pretty lazy. Parker actually went to work for half a day this morning and then he came home and he was all productive, like taking TVs down and stuff and I was like, is this a competition? Do I need to catch up? Oh, you know what I did do today? I did Parker's lunches. There you go, I get another gold star. But yeah, we're gonna do Greek for dinner and then we're gonna do haircuts and then I'm gonna say bye to y'all and then that's it. I know, riveting content. You probably wanna know uh, some tips on this makeup look. Make a hair tutorial. That is a food delivery and I'm gonna go eat. to jump on make it a fish I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I hope you had a great time spending the weekend with us it's just been such a crazy time we hope and pray that in the next four weeks at the most four weeks things just settle settle into our new normal so we're actually moving in about a week and a half and uh, then we close on this house the cell of this house the week after that, and then we'll be officially moved in at the other place and have our new routines ready to go. So it's very exciting, but it's gonna be a little messy. These vlogs are gonna be a little messy, but let's be honest, this content is always a little messy, and that's why you're here. Because you know what? I don't do my makeup in my Lamborghini for you guys. Although if you requested it, I would ask. Um, I just, make sure you leave in the comments if you want it to be my pink Lamborghini or my green one. <laughs> We just keep it real around here. Don't forget that if you guys were on the fence at trying Magic Spoon, I do have a link in the description box below that will get you guys $5 off your first purchase of the variety pack. Y'all, I'm still a little salty. I can't get the peanut butter and the cinnamon, let's be honest. So if you guys have tried that before, please let us know in the comment section below. Are my feelings valid right now? <laughs> Because I have a feeling that the peanut butter and the cinnamon ones are going to change my life. Why else would they be sold out all the time? You know what I mean? But don't hesitate because I don't know how long this promotion will last. It's just one of those things where you have to trust me. It tastes good. Man, let me tell you, I tried something that was supposed to be a substitute for something else and it was horrifying. I was like, no, it's not. That doesn't taste the same. So this is one of those things that they have fully figured out how to do a full-on dupe to the nostalgic cereal we're used to eating. It is so good. Anyway, all the information will be listed in the description box below. Anything and everything you guys saw in this video where we went, what we did will also be listed and linked in the description box below. Uh, but other than that, I think that's it. I actually gotta go get some kids ready for school, make lunches and breakfast, but I wanted to make sure that I said bye to you guys because I love you and that's it. All right, you guys, I love you so much and you know what to do if you found this video useful, entertaining, and learn something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, 
This coffee break is over. Bye guys. Do you want to say goodbye to our friends? Do you want to say goodbye to our friend? Oh, you do, because you're so polite. Yes, you are. You're my classy boy. You're my classy boy. Look at your little paw. You're so cute. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Diles bye-bye. Diles los quiero mucho. Nos vemos la semana que entra. Diles bye, topo. Topo. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, cosa hermosa. Me una cosa hermosa. Le toro mi cielo. Perfecto, perfecto.